I'm Joe Rawl for 5 minute tutorials and today's tutorial will be about how to edit and manage your audio in iMovie 11. First off let's drag some video with the audio into our timeline. You can either drag them in or click this button to import them. I've shown you how to do that in our first tutorial on iMovie, iMovie for beginners. Alright, well, it'll probably just look like this and you won't get much of a visual of your audio. So what you're going to want to do is click on this button here, which is kind of grayed out. It will turn blue and your audio waveforms for those video clips will be shown. At a glance, this will allow you to by pulling the bar up or down, increase or decrease the audio levels. That's basically how that works. However, it doesn't normally allow you to keyframe it. There is a way to keyframe it of a sort, though. So, if you have a specific portion that you want to have either increased or decreased you can simply drag there will be this yellow box and you can drag the audio either up or down and will fade into that that's how that works if you want to get finer details you can drag your slider over to the right hand side all the way down to the half second mark. This will allow you to make even finer edits into the milliseconds or half seconds like this. That is a great way to edit your audio but sometimes it's not always the best. Another way that you can solve this problem of editing audio is to right click and click on the tab that says detach audio. Now your original clip will be muted but the audio will be detached into a separa separate track. This way, you can edit it a bit more finely without getting into the video too much. Then, you can click Audio Adjustments, and you'll see quite a few options. You can change the volume, duck the volume, fade in manually, fade out manually, and a couple of new features such as Enhance It. Background noise will be pretty much gone after you do this. And you can also choose to have an equalizer you can also adjust these yourself. In the end, some of your background noise will be gone and it will be enhanced. If you want to add other audio aspects such as music, you can click on the right hand side and here are your sound effects and you also have all of your sound effects from iLife and you can also import music from GarageBand and iTunes. Furthermore, if you click on this button over here, it will open up the audio waveform editor. So you can always change that. Audio skimming will be on and off after you press that. So also, you can go into the clip trimmer. The clip trimmer is an easy way to trim your clips like uh, this audio. So if you want to add more of the audio and let it go on to the other uh, clip, you can use this. Or if you want to decrease the amount of audio, it's a fast and easy way to solve these kinds of problems. Once you're happy with your edits, you can press done. To close this window on the other side, simply click the grade X. Furthermore, you can also do a voiceover. 
voiceovers are when you talk over the other audio. So, what you can do is simply click on the clip that you want to be recording, and you can record from a variety of different microphones, such as the built-in input, the built-in microphone, or the C-Media USB audio device that you might have, like I do. Then, you simply click on the clip that you want to start the recording on, and your voiceover has started. Furthermore, it is easy to duck your volume all the way down in iMovie 11 than in any other program. You simply drag the sliders down to zero. This allows you to make quicker edits and also to be more productive in the post-production. For 5-Minute Tutorials, I'm Joe Rawl. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you again sometime in another iMovie tutorial. Bye for now.